Hey folks, sorry for the slow start. It's been a hot minute since I've done a little play testing or some streaming in general. The reason for that is that I've been doing a lot of work that isn't really very streamable. Will there be a VOD? Probably. I mean, it'll be on the channel for a while. I don't know if I'll upload it to YouTube though. I got you, homie. We've been hard at work uh, getting things ready. So a lot of my tasks in the last, I don't know how long, have been focused on getting some marketing stuff done and doing some uh, play testing on the Switch and some other technical stuff in the back end for Switch and just stuff with associated with uh, marketing and publishing more broadly. And so no fun art to stream, no fun level design to stream, and not really much in the way of gameplay to stream either. So today <clears throat> I figured I'd take a little bit of break from the typical what I've been having going on the last couple months. I do some dang streaming, you know? The last time I did a bunch of serious play testing, look at all these save games. You may not remember me starting all these games. But uh, what I had done is I took a bunch of character classes, a vivid humming in the background. Do you know what could be causing that? Could be my fan. Give me a quick second. 12 seconds later. Is that better? No. If it's not, I might need to change my microphone source or something. So I was, um, I had prepared a bunch of classes to go through. Oh, the microphone, dang. A few moments later. Check, check. Is that better? Better, but it's quieter. Okay, I'll, I'll just pump the volume a little bit. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Let me uh, turn down the game a bit, that might help uh, us find a balancing point. Um, balance now, okay, perfect, thank you so much. So I had set up all these save games to get through the Gnomish Mines, so it'd be kind of set up for a powerful run to go through the Underworld. But since then, I've actually completely redone Hell. And I did Hell off stream, and so it's gonna be a total surprise. So hopefully we can do some gameplay here where you'll get to see both the new Underworld and the new Hell in a single go, assuming I don't die, which, you know, no guarantees. I also started a, a merchant specifically so you could see some of the new what's going on with the monocle. So you can see my character here, she's got uh, the merchant's monocle on. As a result, she can shop without having to shape change. So, well, let's start with Jacqueline. Why not? Actually, maybe I should change my uh, where my camera is so you can see this a little better. Because you see where the experience point bar is, that's where we're gonna have some notifications for some level up stuff, some skill up stuff, all around a good time. I've got some water walking boots. I didn't remember what this character had. Of course, my inventory is full because I'm terrible at managing the inventory. In the so, there's the level up notification with the accompanying stat up. Why do I have so many spell books? Oh, because I can't learn those spells and so I'm hanging on to them. It's gonna be great when my first attempt I end up going to the military. I could just go to the secret exit. I've got dash, so I think I can make it. Okay, that was one way to dodge the Minotaur, I guess. Lucky devil. And a lot of hopes. A lot of hopes about spells I might be able to one day learn. It's actually rather pathetic. This character's got hopes and dreams and none of them are realized. One of the things you'll also notice is that my UI looks nice and compact, doesn't it? Doesn't that look small compared to the quality of death and how it normally looks? That's because we now have the feature implemented graphic scaling or uh, UI scaling. So I've set it down to 75% size, which means it's still displaying at its native yeah, pixel resolution. So the, the, all the pixels are nice and square and not blurry or anything like that. You stole my kill. Goblin walked forward until it found its dead friend's bow and picked it up. Because part of what I'm showing off here is new UI stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and make the HUD scaling back up to 100%. So this is the full screen UI. You know, uh, I, I think it looks great, um, but a lot of players have complained that they wanna see the game's a lot uh, UI a lot more compact, like the old UI was when you had a high resolution set. And so I'm hoping that this will satisfy everybody because I really do, on a 1080 or higher, I think 75% scaling uh, just looks way cleaner and things are still big enough to read. I mean, there's something I was gonna ask you guys about. Did you guys add a drop all gold function? Let me actually show you, Ivy, we already have that. So jumping over gold, 
all. Boom. So you click on this 10, 100, and 1,000. Hey, we're doing our best at Ivy, that's for sure. <laughs> This feature was definitely something we've wanted for a long time and it just took some time to get there. Can't wait to waddle across the crystal mines. <laughs> yeah, I'm already doing some waddling myself. What's my range skill like? Two, I'm not a very good ranger. Your high score one was like 460,000 gold and you tried to drop the gold, but I was just too fat. That's so funny. Yeah, it's like physically impossible to, block, uh, to drop that much gold just because it takes so stinking long. More tomahawks. I don't have the open spell because this character is kind of a dummy. dummy. My axe broke, so I have no melee. Actually, let, let's <laughs> let's solve a problem for once, shall we? All right, we have an axe again. Thank goodness. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna try to charm one of these trolls, and then I can at least get rid of magic step and charm. Open some doors. I still need to get rid of something. Okay. I think Confuse is the spell I'm least likely to use. Slow, probably pretty unlikely. I think the rest of these I'll keep. All right, we got the orb, which has opened up gates. That's a change in the quality of death beta. Hey, we got a friend. Okay. A troll's not a bad pet. Some potions. Something I haven't done with this character yet is bother with any of that. I'm a little bit worried that our friends, the trolls from the front of the island, are going to come. Yeah, and set off all the holding traps. Okay, they already did it. That's all right. I have a digging staff so that I can still access the secret I need. Man, I've got two sources of digging here, and I've got two fruit juices taking up space. All this invisibility. I'm keeping that, I think. Oh, cool. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I have a friend I'd like you to meet. Troll took care of business. We have another troll. I'm just looking to try to set up any traps I haven't been set off yet. You're not very easily commanded, are you, Trolly? Something you might have noticed, or may or may not have noticed there, was that the troll had a plus 20 when I threw my potion at him, so you can see how much your thrown potions and stuff are healing now. Sorry this is taking so long. <laughs> I'm out of practice when it comes to streaming, you know? Hey, we did it! Look how strong and amazing we are. We've been doing great work on QOD. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to you. You're uh, I Nope. Darn it. He just out of reach. You call those weapons? You will be destroyed. Well, he lost you. You don't know where I am, do you? Where is he? I don't know where he is. Okay, we managed to take no fireballs in the face, which was one of our objectives. In the current live retail version of the game, Barony has a chat log on the bottom center underneath the hotbar. And then it also has the chat log on the left that has no window on it. It's just tech, floating text. So in this version, we've removed the yellow one. And now by default, the chat uh, log is that's normally on the left is now in the bottom center. We've also reduced how many messages are displayed in that log. Uh, you can still always go to the... Sorry, that goblin lady just made me drop a tomahawk in the pit. Okay, I need to find an exit. I forget where I'm a minotaur for and I can't think of it. Yeah, we're not going to the, the undead castle or the little castle of this character. I don't I don't trust him. Trust her enough. Now we can actually explore a floor without worrying about minutes. Oops. <laughs> That was silly. Get the kill. I knew you could do it. Uh, you may have noticed the next interaction button down there underneath pick up item. I know that a lot of high end players will just turn off interact aim assist, which is what the item, that's what they're calling the, the item pickup tabs. But being able to manually click through them is a good solution for everyone else. Oh, I threw up my beard. That's just fine. Get a little more magic. Mana potions are kind of too good to pass up for an insect. I can't be oversatiated. 
Oh, that's worth a lot of money. Okay, let's start getting rid of stuff that isn't worth as much money. Six and a half hours later. Oh, that's the Potato King! Ow. <laughs> Okay, he just happened to have magic reflect. And my new amulet has got destroyed. That's so funny. Somebody's calling me and I'm not gonna answer. I'm too busy playing Barry. Oh, it's not the Potato King, it's the Potato King's replacement. Axes are 47, so that's actually a pretty substantial downgrade to go to Sherbert at this point. Same attack value though. I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm doing it. Force Bolt plus two. Alright. Now I actually got a stinking spell I can cast. It took me this long to find a single spell I can cast. <laughs> Another magic potion. So I've got three different slots for three different potions. Seven brides for seven brothers. And here we have one of our little forest mazes. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I've got just the decrepit lockpick for this situation. That's <laughs> and there's a hat I won't wear inside. My favorite. You know what? Let's go ahead and put opening on my hotbar. I'm thinking like another cheaper spell, like cold maybe, something I might actually use. Let's uh, navigate some labyrinths. You can see I'm using the quick turn with some fair amount of aggression. I have a friend I'd like to meet. Good job. Constitution, intelligence, and charisma, and my leadership increased. It's very handy to have those notifications. They're just like, they stick around way longer than the chat log does. The fact that they come up with a sound for each of the plus ones, it really just gives you a... Just like a, a better alert. Go get him. Go get her. Go get her. I got her. And that was the uh, sound for my ally leveling up. So those are all new sounds, thanks to uh, the combination of Chris Kukla, our composer. Hi, everybody. And Wall of Justice. Chris delivered us some sound files, and we'll put them in context and do a little testing and fix them up a little bit so that they would be shorter or a little less uh, ear piercing with how high pitch they were or something like that. Predictably, I'm running out of space again. And just anybody who might be worried about it, we still have the open log button here where you can go through and all of the chat log messages are still here. We just took a, a lot of them out of the on-screen display where it's like, you were swinging a mace at a character and you hit them. Like, you don't need a, another message to tell you that. And so we took those out of the log by default so that hopefully more of the messages that you see in there will actually be used for messages. This is pretty aggressive with how many messages it displayed before. And most of them were so spammy and useless that I think the players just sort of learned to ignore it, the log to the point where it's like the only time that you would look at it is when you try to, like, read a spell and it makes a sound effect that goes there. <laughs> I assassinated that guy and I didn't level up off of it, or uh, I'll eat that moldy bread. We'd probably like to have some more sound effects, ultimately. Currently, right now, they're not all unique. Several categories of skills that kind of share sound effects. It'd be cool if they were all unique. I'm glad I found that treasure room. That was quite a bit of gold. Don't worry, I saw that really good. Crap. He can't reach me though. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the secret exit. Let's go get some magic omelets, shall we? In we go. What's up, mannequin? Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in again. It's been a while. At the start of the stream, I mentioned that one of the reasons why I haven't been streaming much is because most of the work I've been doing just has not been good for streaming. Lots of marketing, publishing, 
promotional writing up bugs. Oh, you're a friend. You're a friend. Let's be friends. Way to work together, team. Yeah, let's go get the scorpion. Let's do it. Uh, I changed this room so that it would not create soft locks. Uh, it used to create soft locks. You look the decent okay. sort, so I'll Enchant level with weapon. you. Yes, let's buy and use those both instantly. Another enchant weapon. Charging, don't care. Fire, destroy armor, destroy armor, don't care, don't care. None of that do we care about. I do care about that. What's my trade skill looking like? 61? Can't forget, this is a minotaur level. I'd like to bite all those apples. Okay. Keep my stockade in mind. I'd like to buy all the cheese too, but I don't want to manage my inventory. Oh, it's <laughs> Thumpus and the gnomes, are they stuck in the lock maze? <laughs> I have no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Fates align. Alright, friends, kill him. Good job. Alright, we do have an easy exit if we want it. I might as well make it. My only concern, honestly, is that I don't know if I'm gonna be fast enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm stab your friend. Oh, a jewelry store. Okay, cool. You'll not regret it. I'm the best there is. Alright, we managed to clear out a lot of what we were hoarding. I might buy some stuff just to increase my skill, though. You pay, I drink. And we'll have no troubles at all. Freaking great. So we are going to the Minotaur maze after all. Alright, I think we've demonstrated, provably, that we cannot successfully run from the Minotaur. So, what do we do? What do we do? We cannot kill him. I've attempted previously with a much stronger character to try to kill him. So I just dump those. I think I might have doomed myself, you know? I don't think I can make it through here. It's just too much. I'm gonna do something a little bit silly. I'm gonna try to dash my way through. Eat apples. You can dig out the back of this room. Yeah, it will activate him anyway. It might make the trip a little bit shorter, but I don't know if it'll be by enough, you know? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my, uh, my followers to kind of like all kind of hang out and hopefully distract him, buy me some time. I'll do some dashing. I may be able to make it to one of the speed potions that I've hidden in the maze as well. All right, we're, we're, let's do this. We're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. All right, successfully killing my allies. Speed potion in here. Is it worth grabbing? I can find out. Well, I made it. That's pretty silly. Can I kill him? I don't want to test it. And we have one, <laughs> one insectoid surviving. Okay, you know what? I don't feel too bad about that. It was a bit of a mess, but uh, it's my mess, you know? I, had, I felt like I had to express a little creativity to get through it. I got the orb out of the deal. It's hard to complain about that. And we got another jeweler. Unfortunately, that's not useful to me anymore. But hopefully, I'll do a little exploring in this level. I've got a ranged ally now. That's nothing to be upset about. Dash actually, uh, I think, had a major part to play in how well that went. Being able to hot bar apples like their little mana potions, that was nice too. <laughs> that is not what I expected to come out and see. My insectoid killing a troll. Potato King, again? I was not about to let the boulder cap get the kill on him. <laughs> hey, Kure's Goy, leave my channel. Thank you. Goodbye. Ten seconds later. A bunch of new users are gonna start spamming. Hey, congratulations, idiot bots. Way to advertise to 15 people to use your time. Or is this a raid? Are you raiding me? Is this a raid pretending to be an ad? 
That would be cute. How gullible do you think I am? Well, I think we, uh... I think we endured the worst of it. The Labyrinth is one of those levels that I haven't reworked yet, and I'd really like to. We'll make a trip back to the shop. Excuse me! Take a look at what I have, but be quick about it. Tempting to buy those scrolls just to level up. Blink. Farewell. Let's get out of this level. We've sort of exploited it for all it can do for us. I have 69 trading skill. Yeah, I did that on purpose. I don't believe you. It's just like, uh, it's kind of like an inside joke. You wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. Face me if you dare. Let's get rid of you the extra potato survive. king hat that we don't need. I ran into Ziggy the other night. I was waiting, like I was, I was a, uh, I was playing in a cursed and waiting for him to turn around so I could come kill him. And one of my allies just like stormed up on him and one shot him. <laughs> I was like, holy smokes! And you know what? I hear those magic traps. There's more where that came fine. from. Problem. Make sure that no one gets away. Bring me their heads. Just doing a little training. Down with enemy. Kill. Kill. Yeah, I think I really prefer the new placement. It's a little shorter. Like, it doesn't house as many messages. Come on, you wretches! And remember, I need spleen today! That was close. Well, good job, you dumb troll. It wasn't necessary to spam all that, but it was fun to do. I'm glad to hear your first reaction to the new blog location is positive. You never know with stuff like that, what players are gonna love and what they're gonna hate. Are you in this room? Yeah, he's in that room. He's gonna kill him. What's up, little dude? Oh. You turn your back for one second. Now I'm wishing I bought one of some of those uh, remote curse skills. So stupid. Option to not show actions and only show messages. Could you please clarify what you mean by that? I don't understand. It says you open the door. Okay. So right now the options for that look like this: show messages on. Uh, now you can, and so that will just this will just turn off the log entirely. But if you go to customize, you can decide which log options are visible. So combat messages like you hit the guy, you assassinate the guy, the arrow hits you, you can turn off those. Status messages would be like, you know, you are you have been poisoned. Inventory messages are things like you drop the helmet or whatever. Equip messages like you equip Shiver. World messages, I think those ones are like you hear the distant roar of a hungry minotaur that lets you know that the next secret level is gonna be the minotaur level. Player chat, obviously what that is. Progression messages, those are the ones that are like you feel stronger your skill has increased. Interaction messages, those are the ones that are like, you open the door and you slam the chest shut. These ones are, you slam, you pound your fists on the table in frustration and dibs on the top bunk. Those are interaction messages. So on and so forth, there's a high level of customization. There's always gonna be somebody who's not happy with how we set it up, because we've had to categorize the options into groups somehow, you know? So somebody might be like, well, I like seeing dibs on the top bunk, but I don't like seeing this other thing. If they're in a group together, what do I do? And the answer is like, sorry, those are the categories we picked. Like, we can't have infinite categories. It'd be like, literally every message would be its own category messages. So we just, you know, we just made the categories we thought make sense, and that's the end of that. And it like, it presents a problem, you know, that I'll, I don't want to ignore it, but it's like, you might decide that some messages are useful within a category and some aren't, and it's just like, we've tried to automatically disable the ones that are spammy. Way more categories than you expect in Good Word Bowl. Thank you. Appreciate that. I hate that I have four different inventory slots occupied by Restore Magic. I mean, I could I could just grind some magic skill levels by casting spells and then drink the potions to make it more fun. Oi! I did not see that. Still more planned for the UI. You know, we're really trying to wrap things up. The only things that remain I would qualify as like deep polish issues or bugs, but like in terms of UI that represents systems we were overhauling. Um, I think it's safe to say that it's done, it's shippable, and right now, it's actually been shippable for a little while, but we're, we're 
going through final stages of testing, and we just need to make sure that everything is uh, buttoned up. Yes, I will remove curse on this enchant weapon. <laughs> it seems like there's a never-ending list of pet features that people want, or things that make it like more similar to how it used to be before we overhauled it. I just want people to know we will literally never run out of those things to do, which means we will literally never do all of them. <gasps> you never should have come here. <laughs> The enemy attacks! Make me proud to be human! Don't make me laugh! Come here! Ah! Where'd this guy go? Ah! There he is. Run if you value your lives! Ah! Got him. Got him! I really hope this witch launch goes well. Thank you, I appreciate it. We are so excited about this witch launch. And we're doing everything in our power to uh, to help make sure it's successful. One of the things that we've never done before is we've hired an external marketing agency to help us a little bit. And that's one of the things that the Kickstarter money allowed us to do. We didn't spend a boatload of money on it, uh, but it's just more money than we've ever spent on it. So it means a lot to us. So I'm hoping that will help get the game launched in front of more people. So I, th I think our chances are decent. Uh-oh. Feeding time. I think our chances are decent for... Uh, for the Switch launch going really, really well. And man, people continue to discover the game and fall into it. <laughs> That's just a big squad of dudes. Can he change, to, <laughs> change your buff to Barbarian? Stat growth. So I would like to address his stat growth a little bit. I don't like that his charisma growth is better than his con. That's something I would personally like to correct. But something that I do feel strongly about is that physical characters should feel like physical characters. And one of the things I actually really think about games like Diablo is that like is that a barbarian has just as many spells as a wizard. just aren't interesting enough to justify a physical class. I think that's a flaw in the combat system, not a, not, not uh, something that's fixed by adding spells so that your barbarian pulls out a magic 10-foot red hammer and creates an earthquake, you know what I mean? There's like a bit of a philosophy difference with other RPGs that I think is important for me to acknowledge. That's not to say that something like um, the troll's strike skill doesn't have its place but like a class specific power or something that's a spell but acts like a melee ability. I'm a little less interested in that kind of thing. Something like Rage, because it's sort of classic d and kind of has a reason to exist. So that one, and it makes sense to be an ability as opposed to a spell. So even that one, I'm not really mad at, but currently we don't have a, a plan. Skill leveling you, you I look good. Thanks, Kid Kaiban, I really appreciate it. A lot of classes make everything hard to be powerful or super strong, always gonna be for what it's worth, for me and Wall of Justice, Papa. Barbarian is actually one of our first picks in terms of classes that we think are really effective. I know that there's all sorts of reasons why players don't feel good about the Barbarian, but like, when we play the Barbarian, we never feel like, uh, this character sucks, I wish they were more strong. And those are the, those are, tend to be the characters that we want to buff. We're not necessarily doing like math on a napkin or doing like Excel spreadsheet theory craft. Although sometimes we do that. Like I did that for the shop uh, rebalance. But for the classes, it's so much more about like the experience of play that they provide that we want to make sure it's good. And the Barbarian is just one of those that feels good to us. Even though the charisma growth feels bad to me, it as a class doesn't feel like it's missing 